Hello, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to add pre-created images like uh, pieces of clip art or images that you found on the net into a flash animation so that you can use them within your own work. Most of the time so far you will have spent animating with things you have made yourselves using the shape tools and the paintbrush tools but you may well want to create an animation using pre-generated images and it's very straightforward. I should point out that it's a very good idea to resize the image before you import it. I haven't done that in this example. And to have removed things like a white background if that's appropriate for your use. So what I'm going to do is simply go to the file menu and I go import and then import to library. And then because I've used this directory before, my pictures it opens straight there. What you would need to make sure that you did was navigate to your area on the network and import an image from there. So click iPad Mini Mockup, that's the one I want to use. Click open and you can now see your library on the right hand side here contains an image called iPad Mini Mockup. And there, the little icon tells us there that it's a bitmap image that you've imported. Now if I want to use this image it's very straightforward. I just simply drag it from the library onto here you can see it's too big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it I'm just going to zoom out from my workspace so I can see what I'm doing using the zoom feature I'm going to go to the free transform tool there and you can see as soon as I've done that the image has handles at the, these are the little dots at the corners in the middle are called handles and then I can just go to the corners and I can just resize the image as I see fit and now that's fine and I can just move that to wherever I want it to go and that image is now available for me to use in my animation so that's a very short tutorial that explains how to import images to your library you can also import other things to your library like sound effects mp3 files and things like that so your library would be something that you would fill full of resources that you would locate and create ready for use in your flash animation so you might want to try finding suitable resources importing them into your library and using them in your own animations so best of luck doing that